In five, four, three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. It's a new fucking year. The year 2020. Is it the year that Nick is actually going to do work for the first time ever? Nah. <laughs> No, <laughs> never. You're right. I'm going to prolong it till 2025, baby. Come on. You're allergic to success. We are. And I want to. This is actually an intervention for you. <laughs> <laughs> we are sponsored by Extra. I'm actually busier than ever. I like that. Since like, since like, uh, like summer of last year. So Look at cool. him, dude. Because you know, before we would train, right? And I'm like, what do you got going on for the rest of the day? He goes, absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's like, fucking, he's fucking bullshit. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Well, what's this whole, what am I doing here then? At the what time, it was like, I'm you. studying for my test. That's yeah. what it was. But yet, I would, I, dude, I had clients, bro. Relax. Can I just say this? Barely passed. <laughs> <laughs> Barely he passed by a fucking ball thread. Yeah. That's what happened. Dude, I remember by a he ball was, hair. I remember no, you were thread. studying. He was studying. He was so stressed. And I was like, nah, dude, you're good. You're fucking, you're going to, you're going to nail it. And I'd leave. I'd be like, fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, behind closed doors, you felt that way? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I have why no could, faith why in you. Why couldn't you ace it, dude? <laughs> How come you couldn't ace it, dude? Because you know what? See? You got to see? You know, in the middle of the test, I, I took a nap. I took like a little power nap. Bro. Have a garbage. You know what I mean? Right? You need vitamins in your life, dude. <laughs> this dude used to take fucking vitamins. Hey, dude, I haven't been falling asleep like that anymore. I really don't do that anymore. Ask Tiff. She'll tell you. I bro, all her videos are you asleep. In, like, See, on in, the, 2000, in, the in 2019, bro. She this has is... one of you at a restaurant. You're in the middle of a sentence. You fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what would you, you like to order? <laughs> Those are old, dude. Vitamins. Those are old. When I've you, been sleeping great, and I feel great. When you fall asleep in public, it looks like somebody sniped you from a distance. <laughs> no, it <does. laughs> like it really does. Yeah. No. Seriously. Well, that's how, that's how that was a. If if I was in a car, forget about it. I'm out. That used to be the norm. If I if I if somebody was driving and I'm in the passenger seat, or sometimes if I was driving, I'd get really sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> when, oh, when I went to school at Northridge, and it was about like a 20, 30 minute commute, I would have to like eat on the way from school to work because if I didn't eat something during the drive, I'd want to fall asleep. And I'd have what to yell. Fuck? I have to wind down the windows and I have to yell like, ah! Like a psychopath. And slap my face to keep me up. <laughs> Why don't, don't you know. just pull over and take a nap, you bitch? Bro, because I got to be... A <laughs> <laughs> I was that's, like, I'm a bitch. That's, that's the normal <laughs> thing to do, yeah, huh? Yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah, uh, one, it's like it's like a challenge. It's like, yo, I can get through this. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck everybody else's life on the road. Kill, I, I've, kill never, I've never fallen asleep. Kill the thing. Also, it's like uh, um, I had to be at work at a certain time. So it was like literally I had 30 minutes to get to work and, I, and then I had to be there. So. Wait, where did you work? It was at Fight Academy. I had to work at Fight Academy. You did not live that far from Fight Academy to fall asleep. No, no. From <laughs> Northridge. From Northridge. <laughs> it's like around the corner. Like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, shit. You lived oh, really, here. You lived really drive. close. No, 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 no. That was uh, when I would commute from school to fight academy because after class i would go straight to the gym and teach like a oh. freaking nerd like a freaking idiot but you know what i haven't been falling asleep which is great mm. i feel way better <laughs> i highly doubt that yeah no same. i swear I don't to God, bro it. next time tiff is on here you ask her she she wishes anytime she can get me falling asleep and take a video of it she'll exploit me no matter what so jokes on you dude <laughs> <laughs> i would like she has it. five videos don't look don't look <laughs> Bro. You fall asleep so have you always been able to fall asleep like that? Because I can't fall asleep to save my fucking life, man. Yeah. But not anymore though. Like now it's like I can't fall asleep at night. It takes a lot. Yeah, because you fucking sleep the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. What are you also, talking about? Also, this is a false narrative and I'm not gonna stand for it, dude. Bro, this we're in a true. coffee shop one time, literally chilling. Like that was it, literally like a like, year ago, he, dude. No, so what? I'm we, a new man, bro. I'm changed. I've been eating iron in my dude, diet, he motherfucker. Meets, <laughs> he meets up with me and he's like, Hey, let's kick it, we'll get some work done, blah blah blah. Like we literally just talked like this, like for like uh, five minutes, and he's like, All right, I'm gonna get some work done. And I was like, Me too. I started doing my thing and I look over literally forty five seconds seconds later and this motherfucker's asleep like just like with his hand like this is knocked hey, out at the coffee shop literally we told this story before and i defended myself accurately okay and he didn't even know i fell asleep i told him i was fell asleep next story <laughs> i like how, you, don't I like how you fell asleep in the position in which you're trying to fool a teacher that you're yeah. still awake literally <laughs> like, like you're about to get in trouble and literally yeah. on the last podcast i explained how i used to cheat like this looking at other people's tests and I, that's how I fell asleep. And he didn't even know I fell asleep. I told him. So it doesn't matter. Man. Jokes on you. You have a friend that's sitting in the roster. Dick. Dick. In B12. And you invited him to work. That The audacity. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, he was always over there. That was his coffee shop. 
that was that was his coffee shop. I can't shop. go there anymore. <laughs> yeah, why can't you go there anymore? I dated one of the baristas. It didn't work out. Bro, you know me. You know you me. Can't, can't I, I, I do, I, I'm you trying. Know me, I'm doing better. I'm doing. You know me. Coffee shops better. we can't go to anymore because of this dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> We can go. We you know can what? go. It'll be a little weird. You know what the funny thing is? If you go in Pasadena and you look at the walls, it's just a wanted poster of Pat's dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this long. It's just, his, it's just his dick with two googly eyes. On it. <laughs> Yo, the coffee shop that's down up the street from me, literally a block, I can't go to anymore. You can go. I don't know, dude. Yeah. I feel weird now. I feel weird. Don't feel weird. She's cool. I know. She's, she's a sweetheart. It I, I liked end, her a lot. It didn't end badly. It just was kind of like... I, I don't know. It just was. It was just weird. Pat, you can't it, like fuck everybody, dude. I'm trying not to. This guy <laughs> fucks everybody. Every every other week. No, he's banging, no, dude. It's not true. I wish it was that easy for me. That Literally, not that that's easy. not every every girl I talk. I'm with and they come up and they start talking to him and I'm there. Just googly left, googly eyes. No, nah, they love you, dude. It's not true. Nah, he's full of true. shit. See, that's is the, it one of those moments see, that's how where you know like it's a true. girl's there, and then originally she's faced towards both of you, and then slowly she starts shifting over to Pat. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, it's oh, just, okay, it's just Nick with a fucking oh. boba drink in his, in his head on the and, side. And, and, but then I'm like this, <laughs> and then he falls asleep. <laughs> he falls asleep. Yeah, falls this asleep. is why I fall asleep. It's like yeah, boba's dude. nice, guys. Right? <laughs> What's going on? Hey, what's your favorite boba shops? And they just look at me like. You're a good wingman, dude. Yeah, dude, I am. He's the best. He's the best. I, he just I, sleeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up for a second. And I just go, got you. <laughs> but by the time he says it, I'm already like, nose up. I'm, I'm asleep. Mouth breather. That's what I thought it was for a while. Tiff was like, you got to get the surgery. You got to get the, the, the deviated septum surgery. You but, have a deviated septum? Yeah, because I can't breathe out of my nose. I'm a mouth breather. You can't breathe out of your nose? I could breathe out of one nostril, but it's just not. What? Really Look awesome. at the size of that thing. The yeah. you can't, what a waste. <laughs> it's been smashed in too many times, bro. That's the crazy. That's like a fat person not being able to eat. Since <laughs> like, <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Since I was a kid, I would uh I wouldn't be able to breathe out of my my nose. And my dad would try to take me to this chi doctor. Fucking ace just throw dirt in literally. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> he just spit on me. <laughs> dude, chi doctors are the funniest human beings on earth. He would do this. He would just float his hand. And do this, and then I, I was like eight, and I would just sit in this chair, and then just hate my life, because it was every Saturday morning, and that was optimal time to fucking watch cartoons and be a lazy ass. That I, was the only time I could watch TV, it was like Saturday or Sunday. I, I sometimes wonder like how certain Asian people still have businesses, just because like sometimes Asian people don't realize that they're in a business, and they just argue and fight in front of people like, <laughs> yesterday so I, I got a, i got i had to get a massage because i did a light workout with him and i got destroyed <laughs> it's a very light workout did you get a massage after i had to because i couldn't move <laughs> this so, is what happens when you're detrained you know okay detrained but, is not even a word right? yeah dude it <laughs> is bro detrain is a nickname for me <laughs> detrain baby <laughs> that's dope you. i like that yeah but then these two it was so funny after i got done with the massage and you know like when you get into an asian massage they had like the music and whatever mm -hmm. you hear like the water trickling down it was mm -hmm. all great and then right when I come down, I didn't know what they were saying in Mandarin, but they were screaming at each other. And the owner was just sitting at a chair, just texting <laughs> away <Bro. laughs> as the two employees are screaming in front of my face. And I think it was over tips. And I'm like, how the fuck do you guys stay in business? Dude? Yeah. For sure, you're sucking dick. Did you go to the same <laughs> massage parlor that I went to? Because literally, does, this it start, lady, does it start with an H? I don't know. It's on, Val, it's on Las Tunas. This lady was massaging me. She picks up a phone call. <laughs> and she's literally like she's not even trying Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's not even trying to massage me with one hand she just just stops completely and she just has a conversation and I'm just sitting there and then she's just selling progressive car insurance <laughs> <laughs> and she's like massaging you with one hand yeah, yeah, well yeah. it depends on what kind of coverage you need <laughs> you have a 2007 Honda Element just keep, keep it real simple maybe $30 a month was she talking <laughs> <laughs> Why protect an asset that doesn't have any wood? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this bitch saying? <laughs> like, what's going on, bitch? And I'm like, what yeah, fuck? she's totally right, actually. <laughs> Put me on speaker. Put me on speaker. Yeah, it was a trip. So we probably went to the same place. Where did you go? I went to a spot. Uh, I actually like it a lot. I, I won't shout out their it, name. Wait, was case. it the one that we've talked about? The one on Green Street? Yes. Really? That's they the usually have amazing service. And exactly. The but, the, but the masseuses were fucking screaming at each other in Mandarin. And it had to be over tips. Did you get a couple's massage? 
No, I got my regular massage. So it was $10 more. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. but they, they always do a great job, dude. Yeah. And it's so funny, too. Like, Asian people, when they find a spot that hurts, they like to fuck it up even more. <laughs> That's like yeah. the weird thing. They're like, is it tension right here? And I'm like, it's a lot of tension. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry about it. It's like, yo, what's yeah. with the diesel ass voice out of that? <laughs> don't, don't worry. She starts stomping don't you out. <laughs> don't worry. If you cried, that's pain leaving a bitch ass face. <laughs> Don't worry, motherfucker. Bro. You're like, oh my god, dude. That happened to me one time. I was in Ecuador. I fell off a bike, mountain biking, with my fucking friend who was like an experienced mountain biker. I wasn't. I ate shit, fucked my shoulder up, <laughs> and uh, he like they brought him a suit to the house. Like they had like their, his family was rich, and this lady comes in. And I was like, hey, can you please not touch my shoulder? Like my shoulder is like a little banged up. And she's mm -hmm. like, oh no, that's good. Like we'll just massage it out. Like it's fine. <laughs> This bitch spent an hour <laughs> on my fucking collarbone and also had her like henchman. She brought like some her dude. Henchman. Dude, there was some guy with her that was wearing a fucking Where's Waldo with, like red and white striped shirt. <laughs> and he just kept massaging my calves, going, Eso, I see. <laughs> yes. Which basically means yes in Spanish. Like, yeah, there you go. And like, so I was kind of, I was in pain and getting molested at the same fucking <laughs> yeah, This dude's like, rock hard. It's fucking his terrible. Boner's bro. popping out of his Where's Waldo shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Your uh, lotion smells a lot like cum, dude. <laughs> yeah, it smells like bleach in here. What's going on, dude? <laughs> dude, it was awful. It's fucking the worst. What were you doing in Ecuador? Uh, just with a friend. Like, we went to go visit. He has family in Ecuador. He was like, you want to go? And I was like, yeah. My buddy uh, did uh, Peace Corps in Ecuador for two fucking years, man. And he says, like, the coastal areas are nice, but then he was, like, in a village area. But he says, like, Ecuador can get fucking crazy, dude. At yeah. Any time. Like, it gets fucking wild over there. Yeah, for sure. You just did it for fun? Yeah, I mean, he had family in Quito. They were rich, so, like, I got to oh, experience okay. a bunch of cool shit, like, elaborate fucking cool shit. But we went to, like, the coast. We went to the Amazon, which was dope. We went, like, river rafting and, like... Dude, when did you do this? Flipped. You went to the fucking Amazon, yeah, bro? What dude. was that like? It's like Jurassic Park in real life. Like, everything can kill you. Butterflies are fucking, like, chihuahua size and shit. It's like, what <laughs> the fuck, Fuck that, bro? dude. We went river rafting, dude, and it was dope how, as fuck. How long were you there for? Uh, Like, a month, almost. With you Diego. I went with Diego. Of course, it was. I knew it was yeah. Diego off the top. Our shit flipped. It was fucking crazy. Wait, when, how long ago was this? <laughs> uh, like five years ago. Oh, dude, I remember that. I remember that. That's you fucking You probably insane. fell asleep through it, you yeah, jackass. Yeah, I, slept, I, was, I, slept, I had a great slumber. <laughs> dude, man, I went to Echo. <laughs> That's why you don't yeah, remember it. Who gives a shit, Pat? Whatever. And I'm on the plane. He's like... <laughs> dude, the Amazon fucking scares the shit out of me, dude. I heard like the whole Amazon, well, besides the fact that it's burning or something like that. But um, yeah, that's Australia. I think though. Australia is now. Yeah. I think I thought Amazon was burning like recently. Oh, too. yeah, that's it, true. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's always something, Every, something's every, burning. Everything is burning. Everything's burning. Why is everything catching on fire? What We're the fuck is going on? Die. Apparently, it's like it, it happens every, you know. This podcast is brought to you by Etitude, my friends. If you have a great mattress, you should also have amazing, amazing sheets that go along with it. Etitude sheets have caressed my naked body for quite a while now and i got to tell you nothing will touch this body unless it's an attitude bam boo eco sheet Yes, my friends, I love my Etitude sheets. You know, there are times when I have to wash my Etitude sheets, so I have to use my backup sheets, and they're made of cotton, and I want to burn them into the uh, the center of the sun. That's how much I hate those sheets compared to my Etitude sheets. I love them. Listen, my friends, if you have not heard of clean bamboo before, it's the holy grail of fabric. Once you go bamboo, you won't go shoo shoo. I did not think that one through. But anyways, guys, they're amazing. And by the way, if you didn't know, antimicrobial and better for the environment. Organic clean bamboo recycles 98% of the water it uses. So it's the most sustainable bedding available. Cotton uses a ton of pesticides and waste water and is harmful on the environment. So why not try Attitude? These amazing sheets have a 30-day risk-free trial. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your sheets for a full refund. They even cover shipping on returns. Etitude sheets, they're soft as silk, breathable as linen, but at the price of cotton. You're going to love them. When you support our sponsors, you support our show. And right now, my listeners will get 20% off their sheets set and free shipping. Just text BRAIN to 64-000. The only way to get 20% off your set of edit two sheets and free shipping is to text BRAIN to 64-000. That's B-R-A-I-N to 64-000. Message and data rates may apply. Question, is it flame retardant or flame retarded? Retardant. Flame retarded. Because I, <laughs> I have been calling it flame retarded for the long, longest what would, time. What would the retarded part of that mean, though? Huh? 
What would that ha- What would that mean? Flame retard did it means that it can't catch on fire because, because the jacket's retarded. De- <laughs> no. And it's flame retarded. No, retar- no. Yeah, that is what it means. Jacket's retarded. Can't catch. No, it's flames. not retarded. It's retarded. Okay. Uh, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a public apology. I'd like to do my Kevin Hart wait, apology wait. tour. Wait, nobody, nobody like corrected you on that? Uh, I Everyone think, just I let think all my slide. friends are assholes, so they just let me just walk around calling things retarded. I honestly thought it was that too. I'm no, so you're you're full of shit. This is not a bit, right? This is you serious? I, I honestly, you know, I've definitely you are, said you're flame, flame retarded. retarded. You're <laughs> you're flame retarded, bro. That's like the next. <laughs> <laughs> I found out on this podcast. That's not PC, dude. That's not PC. Dude, just for the sake of this podcast, <laughs> I will say this: that I found out through this podcast that uh, retarded is a no say word now. Yeah, you gotta say R word. Mm. Yeah, and, say, I, and I can't. didn't know that. So I was just throwing out the R word like crazy, man. I'm yeah, like, what's yeah. up, my retard? What's up, bro? You know, like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, was like, I don't think anyone <laughs> no, ever said it like that before. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't a phrase when you got- Yeah, that's not a thing, dude. That's not a thing. I was like, what's up, my re Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up, chromosome missing? No. <laughs> but I, I didn't know that it was a, a, a not, a pr- like, proper word. Yeah. Because- I, because for me, it's an adjective that can be used outside of using it for a person, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I eat exactly. flame retarded is what I thought. No, or, that's <laughs> exactly well, no. that's what I thought. Well, that was that was my yeah. defense, and they're like, no, it's retarded. And then they looked at you crazy. And then because I was like, is this person fucking with me? So I looked it up on Google, and I'm like, I'm living in this fucking Bearstein world. So you around. typed in flame retarded, and then said, did and it you said, mean David, flame you're retarded? A dumbass. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, you're retarded. <laughs> And then I was like, hey, Siri. And, he, and she just responded back, are you serious? <laughs> I think I think that's a 2019 thing. Like, you can't say retarded. You have yeah, to say yeah, so it's a, it's a word. It's, you got to dance. It's, it's a, it's, it's, that's a dangerous one. That's a, yeah, because yeah. I assume because it could be used for, you know, like an inanimate object. Like, mm-hmm. if your phone's not working, like, this phone's being retarded. Because yeah. then you're not saying it as if it's an attribute. And that attribute means it can't a, catch on fire. Yes. <clears throat> Exactly. <laughs> right? Because it's not an attribute that I'm saying that it's for a human being. I'm just using it as the adjective for what yeah. the definition of the word is. But I, I didn't know That's that. That's like saying my phone was gay. Like that, Do you right? know that that's the, different because that is different. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the same, like you know. Thought I guess that's the same right? thought, thought process. Yeah. yeah. So I fucked up. Apologies, world. <laughs> it used to that the the term used to be mongoloid idiot. Like that was, <laughs> that's so. Let's go. Up, let's bro. bring that back. Let's bring like that, that back. Yeah, like that was the original. Wait, wait, like wait, originally, like the or I there might have been something before that's that. What they but they call I think mentally be, handicapped. People? Yeah, before back in the day, it was like somebody that's, had that's a in a science textbook mental disability, and they'd be like, oh, this is a mongoloid idiot, and that was. It. Like it's like aren't that? Asian people called mongoloids? What is a mongoloid? I think a I think mongoloid that's... is the scientific term for like certain races, right? So you have like <laughs> flat face, <laughs> like, like <laughs> tiny gook, eyes, chink, no. you know, spigodamus. <laughs> no, I think mongoloid is actually the scientific term for Asian people. Is it? Yeah, like caucasoid is for white people. Really? Caucasoid. Yeah. Is that where Caucasian shit. comes from? I yes. guess. Yes, You're it fucking caucasoid, dude. Caucasoid, You're a half caucasoid. You know, I know a lot of things, but I have to double check this shit. Let's say mongoloid. Caucasoid ass. <laughs> caucasoid is weird, too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like a reptilian shit. Like they couldn't think of anything else to yeah, describe so white people? Mongoloid, uh, relating to the broad division of humankind, including the indigenous peoples of East Asia, wow. Southeast Asia, and the Arctic region. So people were calling Asian people retarded. Wow, mongoloid. I think they, I think they, I think the Woke. idiot I think the idiot part is mongoloid. Like Why is it gotta be mongoloid idiot just because yeah. So they Yeah, so they were like so if it was a white dude they would be like mongoloid idiot, so they'd call him an a like an, an Asian, Asian idiot. idiot. Yeah. You're a fucking wow. mongoloid idiot. That's Why bring crazy. Asians into it? Yeah. I don't know. Well like you know, some of us do look a little <laughs> Have you See, seen, I can joke about it. I've yeah, yeah, seen yeah. my face. Come on. What Have you seen doing? this guy, dude? Yeah, what I've are we doing yeah. here? Come seen on. this man hold pads? We were just cracking jokes about oh, it all dude. day. Yeah, you well, know what's so terrible. funny? So they do this imitation of me, like when I punch or like when I hit mitts or something like that. And Alex, Alex, shout out to Alex Acosta. He does such a spot on um, imitation of me that I can't even be mad at. Well, he didn't know about your nose disability, which is why you have to breathe through your mouth like a fucking goldfish yeah, and swallow air. <laughs> You'll hear that. This man breathes like air is like a piece of meat and he's biting it. <laughs> <laughs> Tiff is like, she's losing sleep over it. She can't sleep. So you, she'll, you she'll, snore a lot? I don't snore, but like I snore when I'm sleeping up. If I'm sleeping on my side, I'm good. So can, she'll she'll wake me up in the middle of the night if I'm snoring if I'm laying upright, and then she'll be like, "Hey, you're snoring," and I'll be like, "Oh, sorry, babe," and I'll turn and I won't snore, but that's about it. Dude, what's it like sleeping in your own bed? <laughs> it's been a while, man. Yeah, 
Man, my man's it's right. nice. It's nice, actually. I just I just moved, so I mean I was sleeping in my own bed anyways. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fucking nice, dude. I like it. Yeah. But also, but I like when someone like sleeps over. Like if a girl sleeps over, it's actually kind of nice. Yeah, all eight nine of them but for I, Patrick. I guess it's the choice. Like it's a choice. Like if you have to sleep next to somebody. Like when I was living with a girl, I was like, fuck, bitch. Like <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Bitch. Let me let me tell you this shit, dude. Fucking Mariel has this thing where I feel like all girls like their body temperature is way lower than a man body temperature oh, 100%. so she has this korean heat blanket that's like 300 dollars, right <laughs> wow. well the thing is you could sear a steak on it <laughs> and so it covers up 75 percent of the bed so i just have this sliver where i can survive and then she, and like i like the funny thing is like she always mentions that that heat mattress as my savior because i used it during the time i had the flu and she goes like well i guess you like it now i'm dying bitch how dare you shove that in my face as i'm actually dying you were dehydrated while you were sleeping on that blanket and that's why you got sick she was like there's video of her she recorded like giving me shit about me using her heat blanket as i had the flu <laughs> she's like well look who's using the heat blanket now she's trying to get a brand deal that's and i have is, a fucking wet cloth on my head like an acme cartoon <laughs> just, just dying <laughs> and she still has to mention how she's right about the heat blanket yeah. as i'm fucking dying dude as she's wow. shoving it in your face i hate that shit because how, how does mariel sleep at night does she like does she move around a lot she talks in her sleep Mm. And she has punched me in my face multiple times. Wow. Mm. Which at this point, I'm assuming now that she's just doing it on purpose. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's socking me in the face and pretending like she's asleep. She socks yeah. you and then just like falls asleep. Yep. I've definitely elbowed her in her pussy before. Just ta! Didn't just so even wake, wake up. up. She just played it off. <laughs> she's like, I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> you see her toes tense up. Dude, Tiff <laughs> sleeps with no pillows. What? I know. She's crazy. And she sleeps in a ball. So it's like, the, she's the best partner to sleep with. That's all Why she does. Why does she sleep in a ball? I don't know. She just likes hugging her legs and she, like she in cuddles up. Like a penis position or like? Yeah, like kind of in a phoenix position. Like on her knees. A phoenix position. Yeah. <laughs> a she sleeps penis. in a phoenix position. She basically gets up and she floats up in the sky. She turns <laughs> into fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she sleeps like that. But she also takes all of the blankets. All of the blankets. Oh, we got two blankets now because of that bullshit. I ha yeah. We have five blankets and she takes... All of the blankets. What did you do is the question. She hates you. <laughs> <laughs> she just, well, she just turns. She, she takes the blanket and turns just rolls. every time. And she, and then she, and then by the time of the, by the time it's like midnight, because we sleep at nine o'clock every night. By the time it's midnight, <laughs> all the blankets are on her side. Jiu-jitsu, dude. It's her jiu-jitsu defense. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing I can do. And yeah, it's. No pillows, huh? No pillows. It's the weirdest thing ever. She's like, she, we also have 15 pillows on the bed. And then like 10 of them end up on the floor. Yo, tonight. you know what I realized? This is like some white people shit. White people have like 30 pillows on their bed. Yeah. Why? What is the know. point? The decoration, I think. Oh, is that what I that think is? it's decoration too. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't come from a family where that's the thing. I think it's like I think a it's like a rich thing. or I don't know. I don't well, know. Rich people just I, have I, I think pillows. rich people do that I, shit. I think it's an interior design thing. People that really like interior design, I feel like. Have a lot of pillows. So it's not functional. Bed. They're not actually I've sleeping seen on it. No, it's no. like decoration. I've seen literally that it's a pattern with that know? setup, like where they had 46 pillows on the bed. And yeah. then like before they go to sleep, they like take 45 of them off and put them like <laughs> in a chest and then go to sleep. I've seen that. And yeah. I've been like, why are you? That is the dumbest fucking like, thing I've ever seen. They were heard like, in my life. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Because when you make the bed, it makes it look nice. That's what it is. Yeah, oh. but who gives a fuck? I know. That's so interesting. So when we have people I, over. Because when I'm at the hotel, like I always see like. They yeah. put like hey. fucking, yeah. <laughs> they put 12 pillows on my fucking bed and I just get mad. <laughs> I just fucking toss that shit. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this scratchy ass pillow doing here? Yeah. yeah. So it's just purely for decoration. Yeah. It's it like, they're called throw pillows, I think. I throw pillows. I yeah. also found out at the ed, end of the, the, in the hotel, you have something called a bed runner. Yeah. Which I found out that's for you to put your shoes on, like your feet with shoes on. Oh, so white people sleep with their shoes on. Yeah, that's that's not okay. <laughs> so you gotta be ready for business. <laughs> they just wake up. Hello, <laughs> sale, 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 sale. That was my briefcase. So and I stupid. Found, I found out through the through the sale, Mexi sale. through the Mexican mis the the Mexican cleaning lady what that was for. Really? I asked her. I was like, "Excuse me, like, what is this for?" She's like, "For shoes." I was like, what do you mean for shoes? When they sleep, for shoes. Like, she literally showed me. Like, she goes, for, I was like, white people do that? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, Yo, that is the wow. dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's if like. If you go to bed, you're going to bring your shoes into the bed? 
Yeah, it's disgusting. Or like the bro. slippers or like actual like, like shoes. My, my Nike. It's like when you walk in and then you you don't want to take off your shoes. So, so you, you ever watch like movies sometimes and then like someone has a scene where they go in the bed or like they're sitting and talking in the bed. They always have shoes on and like growing up, I used to yes, always that's what that, that bed yeah, runner's for. I used for. to be very like, dude. I've seen people sleep. And then they are white. Like I've seen people that I know sleep in their bed with shoes on, and that's why their feet smell like shit. And it's also disgusting, dude. You you step in shit. You go to the bathroom. You ever been to a men's bathroom before? It's mm-hmm. fucking disgusting. You're gonna take those same shoes and go into bed with you? I don't like that. Have you ever smelled a girl's foot after they put it into a boot without socks? I have. What in the fuck is that about? No, disgusting. I've never put some fucking socks on you, fucking creatures, dude. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, yeah it's like it's they. Like when they wear like their leather boots, like, they don't wear socks. like Doc Martens. Really? Yeah. yeah, they don't wear fucking socks. Is that something? Is that a thing? I guess I don't know if there's no space or something. Or sometimes like, they wear hmm. those like little like like fucking a, a centimeter of sock. You know what I mean? Like, like, where it's like a thong for your foot. But it's like a little thing. <laughs> and it does nothing. And it does nothing. And yeah. then you get that cheese, that gouda cheese. Smell. That gouda it's cheese. Like, boy. Gouda, that's gouda. That gouda. That's gouda. That's, that's gouda, gouda, boy. Did you know that the the fungus from your toes is the same fungus that they put into cheese? Nah, it's so, the same bacteria. So literally, that's they don't w- put it in their toe and throw it in. <laughs> like, what? But it's the same bacteria, and that's why it smells the same as mm. cheese. Like they say, like your foot smells like cheese, is because it's the same bacteria that they use to cultivate cheese. Dude, you're dropping Damn. the sickest facts today, dude. Wow, I know a lot of random shit. You do know a lot of random bed facts. runner shit, cheesy fucking bacteria. You might, you I might actually be- learned that from the, the cleaning lady. <laughs> Teacher, though. She's your I, she's your mentor. I know, I think <laughs> like, hey, why does my feet smell like cheese? Well, just to let you know, <laughs> you know the bacteria from the from the shoes that you put it up there, it's the same thing. Palabra, you know? <laughs> like goat cheese, gouda, all the kinds of cheese. I'm arguing with my wife. Well, sometimes you need to compromise. With <laughs> It's about listening and <laughs> connection. It's just turned into a fucking chola instead. Like, pero like, because like, you know, sometimes when they get loud and shit, you just tell them to fucking shut up. You know, you know, like, that's, you know what I mean? that's your lady. You have to listen to your lady, okay? That's what it is. You know, I think like when I came to LA, the, uh, the, the Mexican LA experience is way different from any other place in the world. Yeah. Like specifically that East LA accent, it's literally only in East LA. Yeah. Because when, uh, when I was on JK News, every time like Bart, me or Joe, we imitate mm-hmm. somebody who's Mexican, right? It's only from the type of like, m- like Mexican American experience that we have in East LA. And so every time we imitate somebody, she goes, "That's not even a Spanish accent." And they're like, "Do a Spanish accent." And they're like, "Hey, fool, like, hey, fool, like, hey, fool, like, <laughs> like, my name is Hydra Pero like, Pero like, I'm Hydra Dog." <laughs> <laughs> But dude, that's why like Foo's Gone Wild, that page. Dude. That page is dope. The best. So but it's, funny. But everybody that lives out here totally understands it. And they all know people that are, you know, f- that they probably, I know people that have seen their homies on Foo's Gone Wild. That's fucking tight. That <laughs> is cool. And now you made it, dude. You made it, you made it, it dude. You're a certified big. fool. That's Mas- like Mexican daquan, fool. <laughs> yeah, that is Mexican da- Cante, fool. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Purple, my friends. If you have been sleeping on a spring or box mattress, you are destroying your back. My friends, you need a Purple mattress. Ever since I've had my Purple mattress, I have slept so well. And sleep is so important for the next day because it helps out with your cognitive abilities if you get good sleep. Now, if you didn't know this already, Purple, my friends, backed by rocket science. Rocket science is what was used to develop this, or a rocket science develop the technology behind the mattress. Same thing, right? Am I right, friends? It's firm, it's soft, and it keeps you really, really cool at night, which my big old blubbery body needs. So <laughs> check it out. <clears throat> 100 night risk-free trial. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund backed by a 10-year warranty, free shipping, and returns. You're going to love Purple, and right now my listeners will get a free Purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress that's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text BRAIN to 84-888. The only way to get this free pillow is to text BRAIN to 84-888. That's B-R-A-I-N to 84-888. So they have a slang. My, my, my coach told me this. He goes, do you know what? There's a song and they have a, a, a hook where it says something about smoking broken windows, mm-hmm. broken windows. And I was like, what does that even mean? And he goes, that's, that means glass. And I was like, what is that? He goes, that's meth. That's oh. so lame. Because the cracks in the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, tight. So it's uh, that's broken tight. windows. That's tight. Broken windows is slang for meth. And I was like, holy shit, that's genius. 
Dude, there's so much weird <laughs> names for fucking drugs, man. Yeah, there you, is. You know what I had a thought about yesterday? And this is like, I don't think a lot of people agree with me. Because um, I, I always thought in my mind, when people said, uh, in my, I always thought in my mind, I, I always <laughs> thought that when somebody talked about like gateway drugs, I just assumed that that was bullshit, right? Like I, there's no like scientific fact to back out that it was a like, gateway drug, that when you had this, it, mm-hmm. it, it means that immediately you'll do this other drug. Yeah. Right. But I had a thought the other day where, like if you just go out drinking in LA and stuff like that, recently, coke and meth, huge resurgence. Like I don't know why the fuck everybody, meth, really? everybody meth? that I know that they do, they do a coke for sure and then like some meth on the side yeah. here and there. And I just see it all the fucking time when I go to like bars in K-Town or whatever. And I'm like, yo, this wasn't that prevalent. Like people would smoke weed and they wouldn't fuck with coke. They're like, that's some, that's some fucking weird shit. Mm-hmm. But I just see a bunch of people doing coke now, like in the bathrooms and shit. And I'm like, yeah, dude, how, how do you, sorry, how do you like sometimes do meth? <laughs> That's my thing. It's like it's not. Don't you dabble? You don't dabble in that shit. I don't know. know. It's like like, it's like I I think like when people just they they now it's like when you go party you have to party fucking hard. Yeah. So it's like I understand when it's coke. Yeah. Right? yeah, I mean, I get that. Then, I get that. I guess. You but know? there's like been this like weird resurgence for it. I'm like, I wonder if it's because like le- weed is so legal now. Mm-hmm. It's like if you smoke weed, it's like whatever. Right. Yeah. I do fucking coke. Sure. Those people are losers. First off, if you're just doing drugs because it's like not that cool anymore. You, well, you want to do sure. it for the feeling, well, you know I what mean, I mean? The reason why people do coke too is because after they drink a lot, they need an upper. No, so, I get so I get coke, coke, but meth? But meth, you're like tweaked. That's hey, not like dude. a party. Like, let what me just doing? be paranoid about the government for fucking 46 hours. Like, <laughs> but a little sometimes. Like, yeah, why? Meth, meth, like, I can understand. I've seen people do coke in front of me, which is also like the weirdest thing is ever. Is that why your other nostril doesn't work? <laughs> I know, <laughs> dude. Fucking the truth Nick. is revealed. Yeah, That's I do right. a lot of coke. I wish I could glass. You knew what's up. You did know. No one told you that. I'm sorry, broken window. You guys got a dealer? Glass. You guys got a, you guys need a dealer? Dealer? I'm but uh um, window, dude. Yeah, it's a trip watching people do I've seen people do coke in front of me. I've only a couple of times, but it's also the weirdest thing ever. Because it's weird to watch somebody do coke in front of you. It's and literally like, like out of a you movie. want some and they just go <laughs> and, like, yeah. and they All right. or they get a bullet, they go, <laughs> They always off, they always like, get off man. a key. And I'm like, oh dude, there has to be a better way. A bump, as they say, a bump. A bump. Yeah. Oh. I've never partaked. But I have been around people who do it a lot. I think if I were to do coke for the first time ever, I'd probably get a heart attack and die. I'd be one of those people. Or meth. I'd I think it would just people. level you out where you just stay awake like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Have dude. some coke so you just stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're missing, dude. I, I stay coke. awake. I stay awake now, dude. Like, it's not even an issue anymore. So <laughs> I not highly true. doubt it. Not true. <laughs> I'll put money on that. Zero percent true. I'll put money on that. Spend the day with me. And I'm just like half the time. I'm just asleep. <laughs> you know what's funny about Nick? Nick has these random moments, you know, because now we train, we just train for fun. We don't, we're not doing anything crazy serious, but there's moments where he's just like, he just wants to fuck somebody up. Yeah. He has like this look in his eye. He's like, hey guys, I'm going to train today. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no, no, no. You're making me sound like a bully. I don't do that. You have Dude, this, Nick, you Nick have has the switch. He does. He I've seen it switch. before. I've seen it like, especially when we first started training. I remember some dude knocked your contact out of your fucking eye. Some dude, he was like, he was like kind of mediocre. He was pretty new. Uh, this so is like the original. by like some fucking loser. No, you guys were sparring, but he went hard. Like you were like, okay. you were like, hey, let's take it easy. And this guy hit Nick hard. And Nick just beat this guy's fucking ass. Just <laughs> whooped his ass. Shit. Hit He's him with a body shit. shot. Dropped him. The guy's on the floor like, ah! And Nick, <laughs> Nick is in the mirror just trying to put his contacts back in. Like, just pissed, dude. I can see his face. He's just fucking pissed. Like, ah! <laughs> just angry. So Nick has it fucking in him. Guy. I've seen it. Nick has it in him. Sometimes when he wants to spar, I'm like, everybody is going to spar this fool for, for like 10 rounds. Mm-hmm. And we're all heaving and dying. And That's not like, even true. And I don't even. I don't, that is what it is, Nick. Dude, you're full and of shit. don't lie this guy's full of shit no don't listen you have the switch you have it i've seen it it's only it's okay it's only times where i'm like i don't get to train and i just want to train i just need to exert some energy that's all it is i just want you to come and beat us up every day to be honest with you it'd be fantastic because you don't No, i'm whack i need to train more is the thing that's when i get all like angsty when i'm like um yeah if i don't do enough but now that i'm training for this stupid fucking marathon then Isn't that the I, dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life? Yeah, dude. Oh, you're, you're going to run it? You're I'm going to run it? it. Bart is the one, is the asshole that's like, hey, we're all going to do it. You should do it. And Bart just likes to do extreme shit. Though. He that's does. Just Bart. But part of me was like, no, dude, no. I told him like, oh, I'll think about it. I woke up the next day and I was like, for sure, no. Bart but, always likes to live life on the edge. He needs to feel pressured. Yeah. Sometimes I think he's just like on Twitter and he's just about to uh, type like a heinous tweet just to have his life just fucking threatened. <laughs> just type in retarded. Just have retarded. his career canceled. Yeah. He's just like, oh, rape is okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it, push it. W- was it really rape? Question mark. Send it. <laughs> just so he could have a little heat in Bill his life. Bill Cosby's innocent. Sends yeah. it out. Yeah. I love Bill Cosby. R. Kelly, remix to Ignition. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, you know what? I actually thought about playing some R. Kelly at my wedding only because I love his music. But here's dude, the thing. Dude, Remix Ignition, it's, great it's a banger, dude. You can't, you it can't is not a play that. banger. But then when I was playing it in, in the house the other day, I felt a little fucking weird. Did you? I was like, mm, man. Maybe you need more people around you. You think, no, you, you do think about it because I've played it too and I've been like by myself too and I've just been like, oh, like it's still a good song, but like, yeah, it's like I could, rape. I think you know, like with my <laughs> rape. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, rape. Rape's the thing. Yeah, because I, I, you know, with Michael Jackson, you can't really prove it. Yeah. So I have that that deniability. What, what's your like, stance on Michael Jackson? We talked about this. He didn't do that. You don't shit, think he dude. did? And even if he did, there's no proof, baby. <laughs> 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 you know why it's because the evidence is so circumstance dude yeah like it's just too wishy-washy but like, dude who's hanging out with little kids like that on the regs i mean look if he did do it i would not be surprised at all yeah. like i would kind of be like okay yeah, i could feel I yeah could i'm not that. shocked but you know just because of that guy wade robinson yeah i heard so when that? i when i first time i watched the documentary it was the the leaving neverland i think right yeah. first time i watched it finding neverland finding neverland yeah me and tiff were watching it and we were like oh my god this motherfucker is a monster whatever <laughs> is, isn't it more about like leaving because they're getting out of it i don't know no finding right, buttholes in neverland is that what it's called <laughs> <laughs> but he's getting away from it they're getting out leaving first time we watched it we were like oh shit this this fool is for sure sketch right and then we heard all this like other evidence that came out saying that these guys are kind of lying and they had like proof that they were lying but then part of me was like, you know what? These guys may not have gotten like, you know, molested or. or hey, or, Macaulay Culkin says he was never touched. Yeah, that's true. And that's home alone, baby. You're, you're going to. Yeah, home alone. You, I'd believe him. But at the and same he, time. He looked very touchable. That boy yeah. was cute. <laughs> Am I right? But if you were like Come a on. good Comment pedophile, below if you think about Macaulay mm. Culkin. If you're a good pedophile, you, you know that like he was a little too high profile. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Like, you couldn't like, could molest that dude. You couldn't pedophile. Like, that I kid. want uh, you, that oh. was always the one that like you think that about makes it, sense, but you don't dude. Do it. <laughs> wait, 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 fantasy. You yeah. fan, use your fantasy, but you're like, I can't, I can't. It'll ruin my whole enterprise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, Wade Robinson was really popular though. He was like, that's the, true. He was like the it kid in Australia. Yeah, who, Wade Robinson. I don't know. Who? Oh, see, that's why I guess you don't know him. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. But but it's also yeah. it's mostly a tale of just really bad parenting. If that's the case. You know what's hilarious about R. Kelly though, was that in the, <laughs> don't you love that sentence? Yeah. Was the fact that this man got out of jail and the first thing he did is he went to an elementary school to scope it out. Yeah, dude. What? Yeah. What do you mean? You ever? See, okay, you should watch it. I it's haven't. Seen, I haven't you seen gotta, either of them. It's, on it's one of the funniest documentaries I've ever seen in yeah. my life. That's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait. So he leaves. He got out of jail. Goes to an elementary. So he school? got accused. I forgot which time he got he accused. But basically, it happened eleven different. The whole times. doc is basically. Everybody knew about it. Nobody said shit. And that's why I find it so fucking hilarious because they're trying to act like they're innocent. You're not innocent. Yeah. You knew he was raping these fucking kids. Dude, and you and were they, worried about your job and, and they yeah. didn't say shit. <laughs> they interview the, they're like his, uh, his crew and they're just all like, oh yeah, no, well, we didn't really know. You but, knew. Uh, you th knew he was just, eating baby up. ass. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was eating baby ass all day <laughs> like he was a hors d'oeuvres <laughs> hors d'oeuvres oh he's he said that with the correct pronunciation yep, 14 year olds were the amuse bouche the 12 year olds were the hors d'oeuvres <laughs> and the infants were the main course <laughs> <laughs> that fool was a rapist dude and he would wow. do like the craziest shit oh i mean dude him just pissing on that girl yeah, was like yeah, the basic stuff what's up oh, with shit. piss what's up with that I think, you know what it is? I feel like celebrities, they Don't get know. everything handed to them so much. Yeah. They want the unattainable now. So yeah. it's like, well, I just get regular pussy. I They're think. trying to push the envelope. Yeah. He's like fucking orangutans and fucking just getting fucked by rhinos and shit. Hey, yeah, Pat, hey, Pat, you ever pissed on anybody before? Or ever anyone pissed on you? No, 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 no. Anything close? No, 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 no. I don't do any pee doo-doo related shit. I'm just not, that's not my, that's not my thing. I don't like butt sex. Because poop comes out of there. Do you have any? Do you guys have like any it. good stories about butt sex? Not me. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this little random Not segue. Me. This one has the best segue ever. Anybody got any random? <laughs> What's up with butt sex? Am I right, guys? Hey. Ever tried it, Pat? Uh, no, never. Dude, I have a terrible fucking story, actually. <laughs> no. It's because he, know, he knows. This I got, he knows I got a story. Knows. Knows. Right. We're gonna. This is the, when he told us the story. We couldn't stop talking about it for weeks. I, uh, it was the talk of the dinner table. Talk of the dinner table. Mom, Dunn you got to hear this story about hey, Pat. <laughs> Pat had sex with another woman again. <laughs> Check it out. Check this one out. This one's different than the rest. <laughs> oh, my God. So I was... Give me some of your water, yeah? 
This is this was that here. That is not. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't that is a water from a very di- for we don't, disgusting person that we will not speak about on this podcast. She who we will not name. Yeah, Valdehor. Valdehor. <laughs> That's what it is. Don't say her name more than once. Oh, yeah. I gotta do so much unpackaging right now. <laughs> uh, oh, I got a blocker from this podcast. They, they won't uh, hear, right? They won't no hear. One knows, oh, no one knows. No one knows. Extortion. So I was dating this uh, Australian girl. It wasn't Wade Willis or Wade Whammer, whoever the fuck. <laughs> Wade Robinson. Uh, Wade Robinson. Wade uh, Whammer. Oh, yeah, he was Australian. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So uh, I was dating this Australian girl. We were dating. It was cool. She was beautiful. It was fucking, it was nice. Uh, and she was at my house. We're hooking up. And she was on her period. And I'm not really into period sex because, like, I don't, there's blood. And I'm not. You know, like, either. I don't, I'm just like, I, I, I'll wait. I'll wait. You know, I don't mind waiting. So <laughs> we're hooking up, things are getting heated <laughs> and uh, she's like, okay, like we're, I'm like, okay, well, how about, you know, I, I put it in your butt. Like I, I like, just, <laughs> I, I like the casual I, Okay. Well, I put it in your and, butt. Then, and then she looked at you and goes, what a great idea. <laughs> just my voice. Super high. She's that's like, oh my God, he's so cute. That's when you know somebody's nervous. It's like the first tell tie is a sign that somebody's fucking nervous is when their voice gets higher yeah. and higher. <laughs> So yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So I threw it out there like that, all innocent. And she was like, yeah, she was down. And I was like, okay. You cool. were all bashful. Now, before <laughs> before this, I've tried like a couple times. Like, I've and I've, it's never really been successful. Like, I've, <laughs> I've done a few pumps and I'm like, oh, like, nah, and I, I start smelling like doo doo. And I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, I'm, you, I'll, I don't know. Every time I do it, I'm like, why did I do this again? Like, I, I don't, I know I don't like it. <laughs> well, I will tell you this. Uh, so I found out uh, on JK News. There's this uh, dude, this gay, I guess he's like a gay gay expert or something shit like that. Like any kind of gay topic, that's what he was known for on YouTube. He would talk about butt sex and shit. And then we literally had a whole episode on JK News where he was informing us on how to have anal sex. Which like, episode is this one? Um, you are like disgusting. number wise. <laughs> well, he was like, you don't just go in and just start fucking somebody in yeah, the ass. You don't. He goes, you ha- there's a whole process. You yeah. have to really clean diet, shit everything out, enema, clean that shit out, and yep. then you start fucking in the ass. Like yep. if you just start doing it out of nowhere, it's just gonna smell like shit. That sounds like a lot of work. But for the porn person. doesn't teach you that. They yeah. don't. They, they just don't. tell you that when you stick it in the ass, it's clean, and it's... then she sticks it in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh. Yeah. See, disgusting. I didn't. I didn't know any of that. I, I just went in there like, okay, let's just like a fucking idiot. Like, mm. oh, let's just see what happens here. Like, let's try. Let's, I'm feeling adventurous. <laughs> so put it in and uh, it's daytime too. It's like 3 p.m. I think that's an important detail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my God. So, so, uh, <laughs> it's 3 p.m. The sun was still up. It was a hot day. There was a raven. It was there, crowing. It was <laughs> There was voodoo in the air. So there so that's <laughs> dookie, baby. That's that dookie. Do-do. So we're, we're fucking we're doing our thing, right? So I put it in and like <clears throat> the usual like ah oh, go slow. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know the regular like ah, ah, ah it's too big. Ah, 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 things aren't supposed to go in. I got in there, I got in there. And uh we started having sex and it was like kind of, it was going well. It was like, oh wow, like this. And I, I like felt like, oh wow, like I'm doing something new. It's you know, like, like somebody. <laughs> you had a rush, like, dude. Yeah, like a, like a housewife that did like a new thing or something. Like, wow, oh, I'm doing something new. Like I'm fucking, I'm a new I tried person. Yoga, wow. I tried yoga today. Yeah, it, it was, was great. Like, I was like, wow, like I can really be this person now. You know? <laughs> like, I can work out every day. I can do this now. This is me. This is a new chapter in my life. And so we're going at it and like, I'm about to come. And I'm like, hey, like, uh, I'm, I tell her, I, I notify. I'm like, hey, I'm about to, I, I notify. I notify. I, I'm like, I'm Excuse about to me, come. miss. I'm about to finish. I'm about to come. And then she says, <laughs> don't come in my ass, which I was confused because I was like, well, that's not going to get pregnant. Like, yeah, Duh. exactly. It seems like the ideal place to come. But like, hey, you're already letting me do this. It's pretty nice. I shan't. I will. I, I, I'll honor your request. Dude, I can't. So... A couple pumps and I pull out and you always have to grab and like you, you got to give a couple more strokes So I'm like I'm reaching for my dick and I look and my dick is just covered in shit like oh. green doo-doo <laughs> She had a really clean diet dude green doo-doo. Oh my god green that's an important detail green 3 p.m. 3 p.m. The sun also. was up. It was it a was hot day. day. It was very gross. humid. Caca, caca. Caca. The dookie was green the middle of July <laughs> So I go to I go to grab and do the couple pumps, but I see and I'm like I'm horrified and like I start like dry heaving because I smell it and like so now I'm I'm but I'm still coming so I'm coming and almost throwing up at the same time. You came so even I'm like, harder, I'm like, dude. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. like I'm like just in a like zapping between dimensions, dude. Just like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
and my dick is just kind of like blah 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 and I'm, whoa, whoa, whoa. like it's just Your all dick bad, was upset bro. at you <laughs> and I just yeah I just didn't I didn't I just opened the window <laughs> this I was dude's like face, I opened bro. the window because it reeked in there that is the most grabbed a towel horrifying thing and said nothing I said nothing and she said nothing and I just went upstairs showered and then you guys broke up yeah shortly after that <laughs> <laughs> honestly shortly after that <laughs> she could never look you in the eye again all you you don't even look at me all you do is smell me <laughs> all you do is smell me when I walk in the room you just pinch your nose like this and I don't think it's funny at all that <laughs> C- calling me P.U. bitch what are you eating fucking green crayons all day what the fuck bitch <laughs> the fuck is this we eating crayola crayons green I just Less picture you guys spinach. after you're fucking you have to go eat dinner and you're sitting there and you're like uh, maybe you should ease up on the spinach right? <laughs> yeah, ease up, yeah. you like start green. taking everything green away from her why, why won't you let me have some salad it's like I don't know check your poops <laughs> check your poops like, I don't know. why are you always pooping why do you have so much shit in your butt all the time. I know. It's that's forced, a pack. It's forced green. Yeah. <laughs> that's Ooh. a pack I'm mad about. Dude, that's an amazing story. Yeah, I, so, that's I don't, so it's, that was the last, I think that's the last time I'll ever, unless I meet a girl that's a professional that's like, hey, I did. And they did the whole cleaning bang, situation. Then I'm, I'll think about it. But other than that, like I'm pretty happy with, with yeah. vagina. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't like it at all. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is number one, poops in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's where poop is from. And it's supposed to go out this way. It's outgoing That's male it. only. Also, the one time that I did try it, it's weird because the pressure is right at the where the anus is, but then you because know, the vagina has a kegel and it holds the whole thing. Yeah. But the ass doesn't really have that sensation. So I remember like trying it. I put it, I was like, ah, it doesn't feel that good. Mm. And when I pulled it, I had no no poopy on my penis. But I didn't like it and I just went to the bathroom, washed it off, and then we just had regular sex after. Yeah. Didn't like it. It was yeah. her fucking idea too. It just sounds like a lot, huh? Yeah. It, because it was her idea, I think she kind of prepped. She knew it was oh, up. Oh, okay. Right? So like. Nice. And she acted like it was like, maybe we should try it. Like, I don't know. I didn't really like it. She didn't really like it much either. So she was like, ah. And I'm like, yeah. Like, it doesn't feel as good as the vagina. So I'm going to go back to the thing that God intended. But yeah, I'm, I'm just curious who are the people that love it, you know? Because I, know I think it's just because camp. it's different. It's just something you're not supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gets you really fucking horny. Yeah, it's like naughty. It's mm. like, ah. I'm in your ass. I'm in your ass. Blah. I'm in your ass. <laughs> I'm in your ass. Blah. Joe, uh, Joe told a story where um, he was um, he had a girlfriend. He, oh, my burp smells like kimchi. But uh, he was um, he was fucking this girl in, in her ass. Not and he said that when he fucked, same situation with you, he fucked her. But it wasn't his whole co- his dick wasn't covered in like shit. He said that if he pulled out and then it was like a dangler oh, just attached no. to it. That might, that might be worse. Like, and, it, and it made him like gag. Yeah, that okay. might be worse, huh? Human shit smells so bad it's unreal. Yeah, Terrible. especially especially like everyone. Uh, we used to have a guy that um. He used to train with us and he was in prison for a while. And he'd always say like the toilets in prison wouldn't have water in it. Ugh. So the, at least the one he was at. And he would tell us like, if you would shit in the toilet, they would like your inmate would like his inmate would yell at him like, yo, throw some water on that motherfucker, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my throw God. Some water on that shit. Agua, otherwise- agua, por favor. Agua, <laughs> agua, agua. Cause it would smell <laughs> even worse. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Agua. Ay, Dios. Agua, por favor. Mierda, mierda. Agua, agua por favor. Es caca, mierda. I don't think, you know, you know all this fucking crazy talk about the draft and shit, right? Yeah. I, I, you know when shit. we were talking about like the age limit was like 25 or 26? Yeah. I, it's 35. Oh, shit. We're fucked. It's like you have up until I guess 18 to 26 to sign up or you get like repercussions. I don't know what the fuck it is or some shit or I don't know what 18 to 26 to sign up, but the ending age to get drafted is 35. I'm Damn. pretty sure I'm already on the draft. If you took you? financial aid, you are. Yeah, I took financial aid when I was in college. So. Shit. They're I took financial money. aid. Isn't there like a, if you're like, what if you're an only child? Isn't that like, they don't fuck with you? <laughs> <laughs> why why oh, do you maybe. ask that? Because I, why heard, do you ask? Because there was like a, I remember uh, there was like a Sullivan Act or something. Like there was like a family oh, World yeah, War yeah, II where right. like all the brothers died. And I'm the it only, was like, what I'm, the fuck? My family's extinct now. Yeah. I'm the only son. See? We out here, baby. I don't know if it works. Uh, like that, I but. hope women get drafted as well, mm-hmm. except for Equal my rights. fiance, because oh. she could barely do a push up. She is not saving anybody. <laughs> not yet. She will be doing those soon. Very sure, soon. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't know if I heard it was thirty five and I don't think I could do it. I think I would just go to jail. People will call me a traitor. They would say that You're the next Muhammad Ali. Dude. Muhammad Ali didn't do it. Yeah. And I'm basically him. <laughs> you, yeah. you, you have to change your name when you come out though. You have to you have to have a different name. I know Cassius 
Clay. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. I just thought of it right now. That's oh good. my god, that's nice. That's a good. That's actually it's got a good really ring good. to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. switching it to the Muhammad. Cassius Clay is my name now. Wow. <laughs> that sounds really famous. Yep. Wow. Hello, like a butterfly, wow. run like a bitch. Dude, this guy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you think that you would go if you were called to go into if you were drafted? I would think you I'd go? Do it. I think I'd you do would it. do it, yeah, Nick. Do it. You are. A, you know what, my American brethren. Wow. I think I would. Nick would be yeah. singing, and I'm proud to be <laughs> an American. Because <laughs> where I need because jail, jail would every... probably be worse, right? I'd go to military jail. I think because it would be, it would be filled too. with people just like me, and we'd just be high fiving each other. Like hell <laughs> yeah, dude! Five Fuck years, our country war. hates us. It's all good. I'm Muhammad oh, Ali. Yeah. Or I would try to leave. I would just go like I don't know if Mexico anymore because Mexico's like basically there's a war going on down there too. So. Everywhere's yeah, in the war true. except for Canada. Canada's cool. Yeah. I wonder. I, yeah, actually, I'd have to do a bit more research, so I don't know yet. P put a pin on that for me. I don't you, know you yet. You think you could kill somebody? I don't know. I really don't. I don't think I can. I don't do think it. I don't know if I can or not. I just uh I think, yeah, I think I you can. If someone's I trying think to kill Nick, you. I think Nick can do it. I, I, I see killer in in your eyes. You got killer eyes sometimes. When someone if if like <laughs> if I'm behind them in a car and they don't signal, then yeah, I could kill them. But if it's in like a war context, I don't think so. I don't I know. I think I think Nick would, would be the guy that like snaps and like like starts liking killing oh, motherfuckers. Oh, dude, you know what? I, mean? Ooh, I think you, you think would I'm like, people would be like, here, take this gun. And he'd be like, nah, I use knives because I can see them. He would turn into that guy, bro. I want to hear their voice, girl. I want to feel oh their soul God. leave their body. <laughs> like, that would be this dude. In war, I think that would be him. Nah, dude. Yeah, that'd be you. Well, I, I think you'd be that guy. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty good comeback, that's brother. That's a fucking burn, dude. <laughs> Hey, you just got to burn and leave the podcast, Damn. dude. I, I don't, I, I don't know, man. Like it's weird because, like, we, we, I, I, you know, if somebody's trying to kill me, I might be able to kill them. Yeah, but I don't want to be put in a situation where I have to do that shit. I can't, I can't go to war, man. I'm not, I can't go to prison. I yeah. can't go to war. I can't do any of that shit, dude. Like, like I'm just fuck. I heard, I heard yeah. Tim Kennedy talk on the podcast where on Joe Rogan's podcast where he was talking about how when he was in Iraq, he, there's these guys. I guess he called them uh, insurgents or whatever the term is. He th they threw battery acid on these kids that like lived in a local village and he goes you know what we found those guys and we murdered them i was like that i can get on board with i feel like if there's any like instance of like crazy wrongdoing i feel like i can murk someone for that but if it's just to like just kill somebody in in, in a situation i don't think i can it, you know the interesting thing about that is like i think when i hear those stories I, I feel like he's a very virtuous person, yeah. right? Like Tim Kennedy is a man, like he's mm -hmm. dope. He's very virtuous. He believes that America is this shining beacon of light yeah. that um, they have, there's there's terrible shit that's going on that, that he's seen where people throw battery acid on people, yeah. like these children. On children, you know? But you know, there's also video clips of American soldiers just shooting c civilians and laughing. Yeah. So is he gonna also speak for those soldiers that are killing regular civilians for mm -hmm. fucking fun and giggling about it? Yeah. So he doesn't represent all he doesn't represent the virtue of the American military. Yeah. He is that guy and maybe the people that he was around, but there's mm. also a lot of footage of people just fucking killing and murdering yeah, people, definitely. right? Which is so which is definitely So you know what I mean? Like I like I don't I don't ever. like I don't I, I could I say just like everybody else, I don't really condone war and shit. Yeah. Specifically because I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah right. But it's I also don't. it's like, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, you'd like to say it's unnecessary. I don't know. A lot enough. of the yeah, exactly. That's, I don't know. That's that's the main thing is that there's so many moving parts. Who knows? Exactly. Dude, I had a hard time killing a mouse. Like, I had to kill a mouse, like, a month ago, and it, it was, like... I was, yeah, that's like, hard. Like, saying prayers Bro, even when shit. we went... <laughs> I was, like, fucking, like, sorry, God, for doing this. Like, even was, when like, we <laughs> went fishing sometimes, I felt, like, a little uneasy. Oh, like, I'll fucking. tell you this. I don't give a fuck about a fish. <laughs> Those little yeah. fucks, I could slice them up all day, yeah. and I would just play with my child after. Hey, kids! Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck. Yeah, but, it's like they got no souls. Like, yeah, fish yeah. are yeah, like soulless fuck fuck machines. Fish. Like, fuck they're, fish, not, they're not real. If fuck pigs real. weren't so fucking delicious, I would feel really bad. Yeah. It's just pigs are... Like, after I saw a pig in real life, I was like, bitch, you got human eyes. Tiff, Tiff doesn't eat pig because of that reason. She yeah, doesn't eat pork for that reason. But they're so good. She they're said so bomb. The movie Babe. <laughs> they're, so bomb. they're so bomb. They're so, I will, I'll so tr bomb. I'll trick Tiff in it. I'll trick. <laughs> <laughs> they're so bomb, dude. <laughs> they are really good. I'll try to trick Tiff into eating uh, pork, but she won't. People always try but to put up these moral sta statements. They go, well, what if human tasted good? And I'm like, don't ask me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me that. I no. try it. Dude. It, but like Honestly. if you had to like shoot a pig in the fucking head. Would yeah, you? that'd oh. be rough. 
Would you have to be in the pigs just like oink, 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 and you're like Bark. I could do it maybe to like a wild boar with tusks because they're like trying to yeah. attack me and kill me. I would slice that bitch in half like an anime cartoon, yeah. <laughs> like with a sword. Because there yeah. slowly slides off. Yep, I would slice him, and the and the fucking pig <laughs> is still <laughs> angry at me, charging, and he's running, and then he just stops. He goes. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, and the dude, spray. Yep. you're stupid. <laughs> and then she speaks Japanese the, as well, the too. The screen goes oh, red. Dame yo! Dame yo! Wanui da! Japanese pig, dude. <laughs> Shibata! Uh. Shibata. <laughs> I gotta watch more anime, dude. Dude, anime is actually really dope. I like anime. I like it. Um, there's, I mean, if you find an anime that has a really good production company behind it, it's a, it's a, it's a film. It's a yeah. fucking yeah. movie, dude. Yeah. And it's dope as hell. What do you recommend? Mm -hmm. I, only one I've seen recently Damn. is One Punch Man. I try to watch Attack on Titan. You should but watch one called uh, Demon Slayer. You can see it on Hulu. Mm -hmm. The animation is very unique and the story is really good. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty fucking dope. I I, find, I get it weirded out when the anime just has like just a random tit that just pops up and it's just, <laughs> I'm like, what is this for? Yeah. yeah. What, what's up? with that dude it's japanese like, people they, love they call like, it like fan service so it's mm. like some guys like that shit they get off on that shit yeah they love the big tits that are like barely covered up with a little yeah, explain why no like, japanese woman looks like that ever <laughs> yeah yeah like also they, weird yeah because all the girls in the anime have straight teeth <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. Uh, get a dentist, ladies, huh? but he's not kidding though no a lot, lot talk about that japanese people and british people can battle, battle for the worst teeth ever <laughs> <laughs> like straight up hello bruv look at my teeth I don't know. My teeth is like worse than yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Dude, bad, man. Your switch of accents from British to Japanese. Very good. Let me tell you something, man. I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. I, I'm scru racist. I scrutinize races, specifically mine the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Racism yeah. is cool. It's <laughs> just pretty chill. No, but yeah, their teeth are pretty fucked up, man. Yeah. I don't know why, like, I guess, like, I don't know why, like, dental care is not a big thing, mm. like, in Japan or, like, Europe. Like, they just don't give a fuck. They're just too good at everything else. They just probably don't have time for that. Have y'all been to Japan? What? I want to go. Have y'all been to Japan? No, I want to go. Yeah. Japan I is dope. Go. Number one, our go? dollar go. Go. is way more than theirs. Airbnbs are relatively cheap if you're in Tokyo. And it's a fun fucking time, baby. Really? Yeah. I heard. I heard it was crazy expensive. Actually, is not, that true? Not, not anymore. Like we're talking about. That's like ten years ago. Oh, okay. That's when yeah, their economy Pat. was way better than ours. So, okay. like, I think their dollar was like twice as much as ours. So we would we were fucked. But their economy tank, baby. Hey, bang, bang, <laughs> bang, Shout out bang. to Japan. Population decreasing. Bang. bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're pushing their tourism super hard. Their shit's really cheap. Um, you can get like. You know, like uh, like Otoro Sushi, right? Like the belly of the tuna. Like you'll get like two pieces over here will cost you like 20 bucks. Over there, it's like $4. Oh, Damn. we're going tomorrow. Dude, I'm, go. I'm actually down to go. Because yeah. me, Tiff, me and Tiff have been talking let's, about going. Let's make it happen, dude. Let's go. So the crazy thing about Japan is, and what people don't know about like like Japanese, mm -hmm. like seafood and shit, uh, in Japan, so there's, there's tuna and it's shipped a certain place, right? So the reason why tuna is cheaper over there is because that's where most people eat it. So it gets shipped there first. Mm. We're like, America's like the, one of the last places that gets tuna. And that's why our tuna is hella expensive. That's why their Toro belly is like fucking $4. Damn, oh, dude. Dropping knowledge, baby. Dropping knowledge. Uh, also did the maid tell you that? The maid told me that. <laughs> yeah. You want to know about tuna and shit? <laughs> hey, let me fucking enlighten you about this, eh? And now she's a fucking the cholo. Yeah. 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 Cholo now? yeah, she just switched it up. She went from Veronica, the chola, to yeah. like fucking Geraldo, the, cho the cholo. <laughs> this is her husband. You're talking to her husband. I'm talking to her husband now. Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. nice. Hey, she like pushes, he takes her off the phone. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hold on. Like, the pescado fool? Like, no. like, Esperando, better. back up for a second. Let me explain to him, man. <laughs> you know I know the fish trade better. I know, ceviche with fucking tuna shit, fucking big eye tuna, <laughs> okay? <laughs> that big eye shit, <laughs> That shit's way better, I swear, I don't know why, the ojos are different. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you know, I, I think you know more Spanish than you know fucking uh, Mandarin. Dude. I do, I do know more Spanish. I've been like practicing sentences with Tiff, but what do you let's mean try some right now. Yeah. In front of the Mexican, please. <laughs> Mi nombre es Nick. Mi nombre es Nick. Es, es tú. <laughs> uh, you just said my name is Nick. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm nervous, dude. I'm sweating. I like what right he, how he when he speaks uh, Spanish. He sounds like he's 50 years old I, on a rocking chair. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Tiff gets mad at me. She's what like, "Mi nombre like, es Nick. Es tú." Es tú. <laughs> 
Esto también. Why do you sound like you have a fucking sombrero and a cigar in your mouth, bro? What Tiff gets mad and she's like, why are you talking like that? I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't know. Me good light. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Coco a lot. You guys watch Coco? Coco's a Coco good movie. made me cry. Coco, Coco made me cry. Every time I watch it, it makes me cry. Yeah, me too. Honestly, I'm, I, like I watch it with my daughter and I have to, I get up. Like, it's I, so like, good. I can't. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna cry. I'm you gonna just start, cry. You just start spanking her so she can cry too. <laughs> start beating her. <laughs> cry, <laughs> bitch, cry! She's like, I hate this film! <laughs> now, the, the part of that, I didn't cry throughout the whole, fi whole film until the end. Oh, yeah. The when, end. Tear jerk. When he bro. sings the song to the grandma. And then she starts singing it back. Oh, bro. And she remembers. I, I got, I'm getting chills right now, The power of music. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. Unbelievable, bro. The power of Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Bro, unbelievable. <laughs> or when the dude dies, the the, the like his oh, homie, remember? Heck, and when he gives him, he's like, you got to earn the guitar if you want the guitar. Oh, yeah. He sings the song, the song sings, yeah. about that girl with the big titties. Yeah. Right? And he has to like change the lyrics. He's like, this kids. He's like, I want to talk about titties. <laughs> and it's like, they, fucking, dra they drag bro. on the floor. Fool. The yeah. Chi-Chi's yeah. drag on the floor. Fuck, and then he part. goes to heaven in a lowrider. <laughs> That's crazy. <man. laughs> Wait, that wasn't in the movie. Yeah, man, it was. <laughs> <laughs> It was, bro. It was just bumping the whole way. Yeah. It was like mariachi music and shit. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Just like El Beeper. El Beeper. It was just that going on in the whole background. We just ruined the whole film for yeah, everybody. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to watch this movie at all. <laughs> yeah, this movie sounds terrible. Now, that shit was Wait, what other Spanish do you know? What else have you learned? Like Biblioteca. Pretty good. Yeah. I want you to say full sentence. Malcriado. Malcriado. Tiff's uh, godparent, uh, god dad calls me a malcri mal. What does that mean? You're right? Chink? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard, yeah. Right, it's a fancy way to say You're chink. You right, bro? It's the R's that get me. Yeah. It's, yeah, and, and it's on the spot, so I'm a little nervous because it's like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure Tiff knows that, like, you know, I could speak a little Spanish, uh -huh. but I can't. Mm -hmm. It's not that good. Try it again. This mm. Full sentences this time. Full sentences. Say something to me, Pat. Give me a fucking... Let's have a conversation, right? Yeah, so you walked up. in, it's a sunny day, it's 3 p.m. You just <laughs> fucked the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Poop came out. A, 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 yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, crows, cacaing. I go, caca mierda? I'm caca mierda? En el aire? <laughs> in the air. Uh, ¿Qué hiciste hoy? Um, dos años. My favorite fight. I just said, what did you do today? He said, two years. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I understand that's it. I could say Spanish, certain phrases. Oh, that's good. That's good what Spanish. did you say? What did you say? I said, what'd you do today? And you're like, two years. <laughs> I thought you were asking me how many years I've been sober. And I said, dos años. You just sound like you had a concussion. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a fucking concussive fucking conversation, dude. Like, oh, it's like an A plus What'd you do reference. today? Uh, two years. <laughs> two years. Been solid two years. Two years, dog. You know, fucking wake up. Dude, and it's like, so hot. Are you guys hot? I'm like it's steaming okay. here. It's, it's a little warm in here, dude. Sorry. But I Think this guy's wearing a jacket. He's crazy. Oh, you know what it is, man? It's because I'm not nervous getting grilled because you said you spoke Spanish and you don't. No, yeah. we were practicing. What did you do today? It two years. <laughs> two years. <laughs> two years. <laughs> Fuck your wow. Spanish, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a homegirl. Fuck your Spanish. <laughs> Fuck your Spanish. I had a home. Tiff's gonna be so mad when she watches this. If she does watch yeah, this, dude, she's this gonna divorce bitch. you, bro. <laughs> You're gonna get a divorce over there, this. There are people in this world who are hyper confident about stuff for no fucking reason and shout out to pat for just looking at lollipop <laughs> and putting it back down you couldn't wait yo, you you couldn't guy, wait. he was eyeballing that lollipop this whole podcast <laughs> yo, I mean, I've, never, I've never seen somebody lick a lollipop and set it right back on the wrapper it by 32 years of living <laughs> hey bro you 11 years old what's bro, going on I, you I, had to, I, I had to get a lick dude this, I had to get one lick. this one literally got a lick he's like save it for later <laughs> He I puts just, it in his pocket. All I needed was one goddamn lick, dude. He's like, oh, okay, 20 more minutes. <laughs> I'm here with you guys. I just need a he's little, like, a little orange. He's in my like mouth. that dude that's having a conversation with his girlfriend about something serious, and there's like food in front of him. They're like, yeah, babe. <laughs> Are you seriously eating that as I'm talking about my mother dying? <laughs> just need a little bite. <laughs> it's just a lollipop. <laughs> I, just need, I, just need I, I just need a lick. <laughs> Did you just lick or did you put it the whole, all the way? Throughout the I whole podcast, yeah, you see his eyes shifting toward this fucking orange lolly. I have thought about it a couple times. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't want to disrespect and like put it all. Dude, the the conversation time. is over here, bro. Don't look but over I, there. Like I needed. I just I had to get one, bro. I just heard on the mic just. <laughs> I was like, does this will just lick a lollipop? Yeah, for all the listeners at home, anytime, oh, once you count hurts. how many times he, he put the lollipop in his mouth just my from side, the audio. My side hurts. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> one, bro. I mean, come on. It was a fucking lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's, it's, gl- it's glistening. <laughs> it's glistening so nice. If we could, if we could turn the camera, but we can't. But this dude has Smarties, three lollipops, and one unopened lollipop on the table. That open, unopened one looks good, though, right? Look at that one. <laughs> That orange is nice. Dude. The way the light hits it. Bang. Las Luces. It's like that a shit, commercial. That shit, was, <laughs> that shit was tight, dude. Yeah, that's that good, was the dude. most slickest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, I was t- like they're paying attention to each other. This is perfect time. <laughs> it's like, let me tell you this story. <laughs> I'm like, what? What was that? What the fuck was that, man? It smells like citrus in this room suddenly. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that dude, shit dude. was the dopest thing I've ever seen had, in my it life. Had to man. be done. I'm sorry, guys. It had to be done. That was amazing. You know what? The funny thing is, we actually had a topic for this podcast, and I completely forgot what it was. Oh, was there? Wasn't it? Ricky we're gonna talk about Ricky Gervais. We'll probably have to save that for the next one. Because oh yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're, we're like an hour in. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this podcast. Uh, dude, I was <laughs> sweating. So in here. why don't we, uh, Lollipop Patrick? Why don't you tell us? Uh, <laughs> Why don't, you tell, why don't you tell everybody where they can find you? Uh, just on my Instagram, it's my name. It's just patrick.t.riley. And yeah, that's where I have my shows and shit. I put videos of this fucking loser speaking Spanish, <laughs> falling asleep. Two years. Two years. <laughs> Two years. How have you been? Hey, what's your name, hey. brother? Two years. <laughs> Two years. Man. Dos manos. Say malcriado again. Malcriado. Malcriado. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to say it. I'm not supposed to roll. a stroke in the middle. <laughs> I'm not supposed to roll the R's. Malcriado. You can say malcriado. malcriado. That is a hard word to that say. That is a hard word. That's hard, Try dude. saying glass. Glass is... Why'd you get scared? <laughs> <laughs> I get PTSD from the same glass. These guys always trying to fucking tickle me, dude. dude anytime you reach out, I'm not trying to. I tickled I you maybe once in our lives, which is pretty gay. But fucking, <laughs> <laughs> but, but he, this one's been worth it. PTSD oh. the whole time. But I don't trust this guy, dude. Do you know how to say glass in Spanish? Nah, that's a hard word. It's, how do you say it's, it? It's, it? Even when I say, it, I feel like I sound like fucking Count Dracula because it's vidrio, vidrio, vidrio. I'm not. Gonna it's like the dr vidrio. is hard. Vidrio, vidrio. Fast vidrio. is vidrio, but like sometimes vidrio. I fuck it up too, so I have to go like vidrio. It I'm sounds like, like I'm saying video. That's how you say glass in Spanish. That's vidrio. so hard. Vidrio, vidrio. vidrio. That one's vidrio. hard. The dr is hard. Vidrio, vidrio, vidrio. 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 And you're like, your face is too vidrio. Gr- vidrio. Yeah, vidrio. vidrio. Yeah, I feel like Dracula. Smoking huh? broken vidrio. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight, dude. Right, bro, Smoking that broken vidrio. vidrio. Where can they find you, fucking vidrio? Yeah, you can find me on uh, Nick the Ear on Instagram. Everybody go to his Instagram and tell him to actually work for once in his life. Huh? Yeah. Dude, I swear I work. He does because he somehow I pays his bills, so I haven't figured out how he does that. I'm a trust fund baby. I'm just kidding. I wish. But you guys, we can find us on <laughs> every audio platform. <laughs> iTunes, give us a five stars. You can see us on Spotify, Stitcher, every, you know, all that other bullshit. Uh, say what's up. Leave in the comments below. The trio is here today, and we're going to say peace out. Peace, you genius bitches. Two years, baby. <laughs> Those, Those años. Those años, baby.